Huntington Beach for my last practice round ever in Southern California. Um, it's not that dramatic. I'm not like going away forever. Um, but I am moving. Uh, we decided to move to Austin, Texas. So today's the 10th, I think, and we're moving next Friday. So exactly one week from today, um, we'll be leaving. So I wanted to come here and get just one more solo practice round in. Um, I thought no better place to do it than Huntington Beach. This is the first like full size course I ever played. Um, this is where I got like my first birdie. This is where I played my first tournament and won my first tournament. So a lot of cool memories here. Um, and yeah, I just thought, you know what, I'll bring the camera along, bring you guys along and, uh, you know, we'll kind of reminisce on some old stuff, throw some shots. It's in the tournament layout right now, which will be super fun. Um, don't know how good I'm going to play cause I haven't touched a disc in a week because moving, moving stressful, but whatever. We're just going to have fun. We're just going to have fun, you know? Oh, sick. Well, that's never happened before. I don't know how that got through everything, but I'll take it. I completely missed my gap, but I'm still somehow putting. I don't know, maybe uh, the course knows today's my last day here, so it's just being super nice to me. Whoops. <laughs> Am I Brody Smith over here dropping my camera halfway through? <laughs> Call that a pretty good scramble. Let's see if I can put with a mid range and bag on camera in the hand. Let's go. I guess you need to start cutting like that normally. Maybe I'll actually make something. We can buy that man though. Oh, joy. Yeah, so just finished hole seven. It was so crazy. So I ran into Ed, who I haven't seen in like two years. But him and Jim Klein, they were the first guys we ever played a competitive round with. We like came out here and played uh, the Huntington Beach Monthly. I remember it was, it was the first competitive round I ever set and he was just reminding me that he'd said, man, if you keep playing like you are, 
you're gonna you're gonna be something someday. You're gonna be big in the sport. And now, so fitting, I would run into him uh, during my last round ever when I'm you know getting ready to move uh, back to Texas and, and tour full time. Um, so. Well, that's the first time that's ever happened, but I think I just threw it off the backside. <laughs> All right, I don't see it up here, so safe to assume it went off the back. Oh, yep, there she is. There she is, Kristen Tatar Grace, everybody. Well, that's not a birdie. I get for trying to be fancy and flex it. And here's where I left it. Ideal spot, really, for your par putt. So much for bogey free, but honestly, if I'm throwing up shots like that, I don't really deserve to go bogey free. <laughs> Let's go on the bag camera putt part two. So fun little thing about this hole. This is actually the hole I got my first ever birdie on. Um, it was in a short pin, right now it's in the long pin, but short pin's like basically the same shot. It's just instead of being 320 or, or whatever, it's like 250. And I think I threw a Grim, which is like high speed driver from Castaplast, way too much disc for me at the time. But um, yeah, I put it just in front of that tree. And then I made like a 20 footer and it was like, it was super hype. All right, this is another kind of fun memory hole. Um, there, if you go back on my Instagram far enough, there's the first clip I ever posted of me playing disc golf, and it was on this hole. And I'd thrown 
my pink Valkyrie. You know it's pinky. And I landed right over there by those bushes. I actually trimmed them down again. It's very similar uh, height to what they were. And it was in this pen. And I landed right there. And I turned to Tyler and I was like, you're going to want to video this shot. And so I took my putter. I'd never, I'd, I'd seen turbo putters or turbo putts. I'd never actually thrown one. So it was cut to like here and you could actually see the basket. I had to just like launch this 55 footer. Absolutely candid. I'll make sure I put in a, a video clip right here so you guys can see it. Where did I end up? Doo -doo. There's no way I went long. <laughs> well shoot, you might get to see the turbo again. Maybe I'll probably, I'll probably just normal putt that. Oh, it's perfect, man. Last day at Huntington Beach, making bush putts on hole 14. Okay, wow, I actually got pin high for once. Woo! Alrighty, stress free pars. <laughs> so, I guess I just barely snuck in around this man though and hit that tree. So we're safe. It's actually pretty wide open over here. It's the only forehand I've thrown today. And I think it was okay. Here we go. We'll finish off with one more bag on camera putt. All right, I figured go back in the car for the outro just to make sure you guys can actually hear me. But oh man, it was a good round. Um, ran into some friends cool that I ran into Ed so he's like I, I didn't film our conversation because that would have been weird but um the first monthly that Tyler and I played here we played in a card with Ed and with Jim who are two like local guys um and yeah Jim or uh, Ed was when I ran into today I've, I've seen Jim a bunch but yeah I haven't run into Ed since then and uh you know it's kind of crazy that he is there for like that first competitive round and now to run into him as I'm like moving back to Texas and, and planning to uh, like, you know, play professionally and making this my job now. Um, so it's cool to run into him. Um, got to run into Jeff and Ryan both today. Got to chat with them a little bit. Saw a bunch of my Lake Forest buddies. So it was, it was cool to actually like see some, some friends out and about. Um, kind of makes, not, not to get too sappy, but I am definitely going to miss this course. There's a lot of cool memories here and uh 
yeah yeah good stuff um but yeah that's that's it for for california rounds i mean it's just gonna be packing and then um heading out to austin um so yeah now that disc golf is my job full time um i'm gonna do a lot more videos i'll actually have time for that now um planning to do like my some vlogs of uh of my first time playing the different courses in austin because there are a ton of amazing courses um i'll probably do at least one video maybe a series of, of building a, of buying and building out the travel trailer getting everything ready for tour um so you know if you've if you're local to austin or you've ever played in austin and you have like a favorite course that you want me to check out make sure to let me know in the comments and um subscribe so you can so you can see all of that um you know it really helps me out um i'm so stoked that i get to do this uh full time and to make some stuff for you guys so uh Thanks for watching.